guys thank you so so much for coming back to my channel um, today or is going to be a sit down video we are going to talk about something that happens to us once a month bills no periods okay so because I have no idea even where to begin about bills but once I learn I can do that but right now I know about periods so that's what I'm gonna talk about my personal period tip tips tricks and hacks so um, I about I have about maybe 10 little helpful tips that if you want them take them if you don't just leave them here but um, let's get started um, my first tip is to get a period app so I have several apps you can download these on your phone your iPad um, you can even set it in your personal calendar um, I know my iPhone has reminders but there are apps made specifically for periods to help you keep track of them and since I'm such a forgetful person anytime I go to the doctor and they they always ask when was the first day of your last menstrual cycle and I'm like um, do you have a calendar like a calendar is actually gonna help me so I always have an app to go to so my um, app that I've used most is called PC and it has like it looks like a diary and it has like a little daisy on the front so it's kind of cute there are other ones like flow I think there's one called Eve but um, they all have like the same kind of concept so you input um, your when you start your period how long your periods last how um, how long is the duration of time between the last time of your period and the first time of your next period um, so I think that's always helpful. So whenever the doctor asks me, I can always go back and look there. Heating pads, oh my gosh. Okay, so if your app didn't give you um, a good heads up as to when your period's gonna start, cramps definitely will. OMG, if cramps don't like take me out of the game completely, I don't know what does. My cramps are so severe, like, it feels like something's stabbing me or trying to claw out of me or like a punch in the stuff like it's just horrible like I feel like I'm literally dying so one of my go-to things for cramps are heating pads now when you're at home next to a plug and stuff like that's fine because I mean your heating pad connects to the wall and everything but I really love these heating pads they're called Thermacare heating pads and you don't need a plug or anything so what it does is it has an adhesive that you pull off the back you stick it to the inside of your panties and it heats up it lasts for up to eight hours of pain relief and it's made specifically for the menstrual pain so you don't have to think about being next to a plug that um, oh my gosh I'm still cramping but I still want a bowl of spaghetti and I can't have my heating pad and make spaghetti at the same time you can run errands go to school nobody notices it, it like it's it's a lifesaver pain medicine so if if it gets to the point where you do need extra relief and the pain medicines are the ways to go um, some of my go-to's are like a cinnamon which is just and all and if you go back to my get ready with me Christmas video we all know I cannot pronounce tyne and all so whatever so a cinnamon um, for like non steroidal drugs well, you can do like um, Advil Motrin ibuprofen naproxen those are all essentially the same things um, aspirin if you're old enough then um, then take aspirin they do make medicine specifically for periods are geared more toward periods like pampering or vital yeah um my mom's over there she's always over there <laughs> birth control now i know this is taboo for some people especially if um yeah you're a part of a specific religion or age group and everything you don't even want to think about birth control and you might think birth control is only for not having babies but when your cramps are realer than real then you might want to consider being on some type of birth control so the very first birth control that I took it it was called let's see this is what it looks like I'll get some more close-up shots of each of these products that I show you guys it's called Trinesolo and it is a 28 day regimen 
Yeah, so you take it for 28 days, have a period, and then start all over again. Um, so this birth control gave me no problems at all, but um, I did have to switch birth controls when this prescription ran out and the doctor just gave me a different type of birth control, which is called Chantella, Chantel, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce this. I probably look so stupid right now. Um, this birth control gave me, like the side effects were real. Like, I didn't, like you know how at the end of a commercial they'll read really fast, like side effects may include blah blah blah. Like, I was like, medicines can't really affect you like that. Like, that's stupid or whatever. But you guys, like I thought I was going crazy. Like, I had crazy dreams. I was depressed. I was anxious like I already have um, like PTSD anxiety and depression and we could talk about that in another video but this birth control made it times 10 like it was on a whole nother level so if you start taking some type of new medicine and your brain is firing off chemicals and giving you signals and making you act out of character then maybe think about the new medicines that you're taking and don't automatically jump to the conclusion that you just went crazy all of a sudden like if you feel that way call your doctor get off that medicine and everything because side effects are real so now I'm on a birth control and it is a 91 day regimen and it's called Jalesa and it is a 91 day regimen. I don't get a period. So I don't not like not like don't get a period at all whatsoever. I get a period once a season. So I'll take birth control for three months and then the last week in those three months I'll have a period and then I'll start all over again. And that means I don't have to deal with cramps, I don't have to deal with period moodiness, I don't have to deal with pads, tampons, I don't have to deal with anything except one pill once a day. Once you start your period, you're gonna need a few supplies, like the basic needs. Now, everybody's basic needs are totally different, um, but I pretty much use all of the above. Like, I'm talking pads, tampons, cups, whatever, piece of tissue, I don't care, anything. Um, now, my periods, even when I first started my period, like when I was 12, I think, it came on hot and heavy like it was so much flow that I didn't I thought I was bleeding out so I I automatically I there's no um, when it comes to tampons there's no regular or super or super plus or whatever no we use the big girls okay not the big boys the big girls we use ultra size tampons and I haven't found anybody else other than Tampax Pearl that makes um, ultra sized tampons and if there are other brands out there comment below so I know what's up and I know what I need to buy next they do have cardboard tampons so this is really good for if you want to be a little more discreet in public bathrooms or if you just don't want to put plastic into the landfills every month so the paper is a paper wrapper and the inside is a cardboard tampon and the whole thing, the whole system, you flush down the toilet. There's no more opening that squeaky little tin box on the side of the bathroom stalls and kind of sneaking it closed, trying not to rattle that brown paper bag in the middle of it and everything. Like no, you just throw it all in the toilet, it degrades, it like disintegrates in the water and you don't even have to worry about anything else but flushing. So that's great. Um, so I bought these overnight pads. And I mean, okay, now that I think about it, it looks kind of small. So wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah, mama toss it. These. These. <laughs> when I see these, I think, are they upside down? These. When I see these, I think like um, postpartum haul type video type ish. Like I feel like these are the heavy duty, I just had a baby, pushed it out of my body type pads that you would put on almost on the lines of a adult diaper kind of thing. But, um, but these just overnight pads, these really help because it goes 
all the way like from your belly button to the mid part of your back kind of situation so these are really good for nighttime if you have a heavy flow or if you don't like to wear tampons and you don't want to get your panties or your bed messed up during my period I like to be as comfortable as I possibly can because like you're going through some of the worst pains that a girl can experience and a guy probably cannot handle like they think they're all big and tough and macho but like have a period for a week and then come back to me and see how big and tough and macho you really are um so one of my main go-to things the, everything i'm showing you is totally clean i promise are period panties these are panties i do not care if i get messed up because that's just inevitable i guess like i'm going to mess up a pair of panties once during my week and so these are panties I don't care if there's a stain or a little spot or anything on there because I mean whatever they're not my Victoria's Secret panties that I wear every other day of the month out of the year if you mess your period panties up get some cool soapy water and rinse out the stain first as much as you can and then get some hydrogen peroxide and put a little bit of that on your panties now your panties might get a little bleached but I mean who cares because they're period panties and I mean there goes your stain um another thing that I use are these summer's eve wipes um and this is also made for girls helps with your pH balance um dermatologists and gynecologists tested um and they're super convenient and everything so that's great but this can cost like four dollars and you get like what 32 cloths right and so I know this is made for girls but if I pay four dollars for 32 cloths like why not just pay 32 dollars <laughs> for four for 240 baby wipes like I said $32. Oh, why not pay? Like, if you're going to pay $4, I'm hashtag dyslexia. If you're not going to pay $4 for that, pay $4 for this because, I mean, it might not help balance your pH, but, I mean, the wash will. And this, I'm not saying this, use it every single day of your period because, I mean, you're going to have to take a shower. Put those nutrients and fluids back into your body. Drink as much water as you possibly can. My favorite thing in the world is milk. But, I mean, I know I have to drink water, so drink water as much as you can. I find that um, drinking the carbonated water with one lemon and one lime makes water taste a little better. And you don't have any calories or really sugar or anything. So, I mean, just like modify your water if you can, but make sure you get that fluid back into your body. Um, during your period, you lose a lot of iron. So, are you this? Yes. So put iron back into your body. These are just like the Members Mark um, iron tablets, and um, you that's iron is all types of way in your blood. So you lose a little blood during your period, so you lose a little iron during your period. So um, another thing that you can take is just a multivitamin. I mean, it just has a lot of its multiple vitamins in there. So take so when you're craving stuff, then of course eat what you're craving if it's if it's healthy oh my gosh don't say well she said eat it because I was craving it no like if you're craving stuff like enjoy that like indulge or whatever but try to incorporate some things that would help with your period put some iron back into your body like spinach kale fish red meat and dried fruit are highly recommended and everything like I mean if you're gonna eat it anyway why not kind of thing um, low estrogen or to make sure that your estrogen is like balanced out or whatever you can eat like blueberries and raspberries those are yummy um, I don't know I'm a fruits and vegetables kind of girl so this is just delicious to me um, to elevate your mood dark chocolate oh I love dark chocolate that's just because I don't like sweets and people think it's like really bitter but I can just eat that all day every day like I love dark chocolate and um, to stabilize your blood sugar, like peanut butters, like sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, things like that, and nuts, which brings me into National Chocolate Covered Nut Day! Yay! Boom! Dark chocolate peanut covered M&Ms. You get a little of your sweet, 
you get a little of your dark chocolate, you get a little of your nut, and boom, just a happy camper. Like, I mean, it's just, it screams, period. So the last thing that I have for my period tip, trick, and hack is to always be prepared for your period because when I was in high school, it seemed like none of the girls were prepared. I know there were some girls out there prepared and everything, but I know like a lot of people came to me and was like, do you have a tampon? Do you have a pad? And I mean, I would always say yes and everything because I mean, why not? If I didn't have a tampon or pad, I would definitely want somebody to give that to me. So, I mean, why not? If, if you have it, share it. Or at least charge them for it if they come to you more often, like often enough, be like, yeah, for a dollar or something like that. But um, always be prepared. So I have this Vera Bradley, um, I don't even know what it is. I think it might be a toiletry kit or something. But in here, I have some pads, my ultra tampons, and some spare period panties. Because, I mean, if I get messed up, then I can just change these real quick. Um, you can also throw things in there like hand sanitizer, a little pack of baby wipes. Um, if, if you can fold a heating pad to fit in there, then I mean, put that in there. Um, point is, just always be prepared for things that you need. And then if you have friends that come to you, you might want to throw a couple extra in there for them. But that is all the period tips, tricks, and hacks that I have for you. Um, if you have some tips, tricks, and hacks for me, go ahead and comment those below. And I'll definitely try to jump on that bandwagon if I find that I like that. Um, hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, take some of my tips if you need them. Leave them here if you don't or whatever. But I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up really help me and my channel. Subscribe, just be another person that gets to know me a little better. And um, comment down below. Be sure you be very kind in the comments because I'm a very sensitive person and you will hurt my feelings.